There we go. Rates are now, the 10 year treasury is now over 3%. Can you believe it? We were hanging out there in the 2.6s and we we're hanging out in the 2.7s on the 10 year treasury. And today we're at 3.3 as I'm making this video. The question is, does it have room to run? And the answer is yes, it has room to run up to 3.25. So says Dar uh, Barry Habib. And we've been there before. And when it hit 3.25 or I think it went past it, uh, we, we went into the sixes on, on the 30 year interest rate. So the question here today, here in Phoenix, Arizona, the uh, iBuyers, specifically Open Door, owns about 10% of the active listings on the market right now. And what I see happening with the iBuyers like Open Door is every week or every two weeks, they, if they don't sell the home or get it under contract, they're dropping the price and they're dropping it 2%, you know, 10,000, 20,000, sometimes 50,000 by by the end of a couple months, they end up dropping it fifty to hundred thousand dollars of what they originally listed it for. So, another thing I see when I have buyers that are writing contracts on these homes is if you lowball or even put in an offer with Open Door, they're going to come back and think their price you were interested at this price. So they're only going to go and negotiate just a little bit, maybe you know within ten thousand dollars. Rarely will you get them to come down to that $50,000 where the home actually is affordable and makes sense. So that is an issue. But if you just keep watching and watching and watching and let them keep dropping and dropping and dropping, I think eventually that home is going to be sold at a near loss or break even because they need, they, they own too much homes. In the last quarter of 2021, they ended up buying like 18% of all the homes sold in Phoenix, in the Maricopa County area, 18%. That's a huge number. That's huge. So do you think that if interest rates go back up to, you know, high fives, low sixes, that um, we're, we're not going to see more inventory come to market or we're going to see less inventory come to market? Or do you think that prices will continue to come down or are prices even coming down? I'm seeing prices coming down. Now in some parts, they're not, sellers are just not dropping their prices at all. Like the second home areas in Munns Park, man, I am just hardly seeing any price drops. Flagstaff, which is much more populated, I'm seeing, you know, a lot more price drops. Here in Phoenix, which is a lot more, po you know, populated, we're probably the sixth or fifth largest city, I forget which it is. You know, we're seeing price drops across the board. And, uh, it is different in every city, you know, uh, from rural to landlocked areas. The landlocked, obviously, are going to hold their value better than the rural areas because that's where builders can build. And the first thing we're going to see is builders dropping their prices, right? That's always the first sign that home prices are coming down. Now, a lot of people are going to say, no, home prices only go up. But if you go back in history and you look at it seriously, there are some decades where home prices did come down for five, 10 years. They stayed stagnant. They went sideways. And there are some people that married the house and never recovered. Even to this day, I just posted on my Facebook, uh, you know, uh, a property owner that rented it out for uh, just stupid low price under $2,000 for like 15 years and is only selling the home for 60,000 above what they originally paid for it in 2007. So I, I didn't get that one. That was a real head scratcher to me because the, of the strategic defaults that happened left and right back then. It was, you know, bountiful, if that's, you know, if you want to, for lack of better words. So here we are over 3% on the 10 year treasury again. And that probably means that uh, the feds are trying to sell off some of the mortgage backed securities. If they fully did what they said they were going to do and sell off 17 billion a month, Rates would be in the sixes and sevens and stay there and maybe get up closer to 10. So what do you think is going to happen if we see 6% interest rates again? I want to, I want to get your reactions in the comments below. Would you be buying a house right now? Is right now a good time to buy? Do you think home prices are going to continue to go up like the experts say, or do you think they're going to come down here in the Phoenix, Arizona uh, market? Like, we kind of seen them do. <laughs> so, and I'm talking from the peak, like the March or April uh, peak of housing, which is where I feel the peak of pricing was. 
and I think it's been coming down since. Do you think we have more to run or do you think that this is it? This is the lowest you're going to see and uh, you should buy now and marry the house. Just date the rate. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you watching and uh, please leave a comment, subscribe and uh, until next time.